That's where the blessing of sabr is the greatest of blessings. And that's what makes a Muhammad Ali, for example, special. Rahimahullah ta'ala. He could have buckled. Many people don't know the day that Malcolm was assassinated, Rahimahullah ta'ala, al-Hajj Malik al-Shabazz, Muhammad Ali came home and found his apartment was burned down. It was a message to him to be quiet, to stop. He doesn't even know where it came from, what the message necessarily was, but it was supposed to intimidate him into some sort of silence. Just stop. Stay in your lane. Keep boxing. You know, there, was a, there, there are so many moments that you could point to just to take that one person's life, to take Muhammad Ali's life. And even if, even if it was through different lenses or different things that were causing him to persevere in those moments. Like when uh, Al-Hajj Malik al-Shabazz, when Malcolm showed up to the Sunni Liston fight, and his promoter said, we're not going to keep you. If, you if, if he stays, we go. You're going to lose the greatest opportunity of your life, a championship shot. He says, bye. Turns around and walks away from him, and those people go chasing after him in his car. Say, no, 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 he can stay, he can stay. Please stay. To stand in front of the U.S. government, and to take it on during Vietnam. To say, I'm ready to die by a firing squad. <laughs> Who says that in their 20s when they've got millions of dollars and fame and celebrity on the line? Perseverance, right? So sabr is the defining trait, whether you're looking at the lives of the Anbiya, the prophets, or you're looking at the Salihin, you're looking at the, uh, the righteous ones, you're looking at the predecessors, the pioneers of any generation in any field. There was a patience, there was a perseverance. Well, I was sharing with these uh, brothers that was in, uh, in, in Detroit uh, two weeks ago, teaching about Malcolm X, rahimahullah ta'ala, to people that, some people that lived with him and knew him. And I went to Masjid Wali, which was the first NOI uh, temple, now a masjid. And uh, there is a sister close to 90 years old making bean pies in the back before Salat al Jumu'ah. She was there in 1960. She witnessed that entire thing that we witness in pictures. She's just the sister in the back that's making bean pies for Jumu'ah like she's been doing for decades. There are people that still live amongst us that give us shoulders.